you doing up there? Staying away from you. That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? Sorry, Spidey, but I think you may have to change up your wardrobe this time around. Anyways, welcome back, true believers, and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another really interesting Spider-Man PS4-related video, and once again, another opinion-based video at that. And yes, everyone, it is the moment you've all been waiting for, or the moment that you have been dreading the most, depending on how you look at it, is indeed the top five list for the worst DLC suits within the entirety of Spider-Man PS4. And in case you missed it, I have already done a ton of top five videos relating to the game, including the top five best and worst suits within the main game, as well as the top 5 best and worst suit powers that are tailored to specific costumes as well, and of course recently I did the top 5 best DLC suits within Marvel's Spider-Man. And of course we are now ending with the coup de gras of the top 5 list, with including the top 5 worst DLC suits within the entirety of the game. So if you did happen to watch my top 5 best DLC suits video, you probably already know which suits are going to be on this list, but you don't know what order they're going to be in. And once again, I have to reiterate the main fact that this is all just purely my own opinion so if there is a suit that you really do love that just so happens to be on this list just know that that is how I personally feel about that specific costume and if you love one of these costumes then please more power to you but I'm just giving my own thoughts about how I feel about each specific suit and obviously for ranking these suits on this list we are going to base them off of their visual aesthetic alone and even though there are some pretty interesting designs within these DLC costumes I still think there are some flaws within them and with all that said we are going to begin with with number 5 on the list, which is the least worst suit within the entirety of Spider-Man PS4's DLC, and then ending the list with number 1, which is in fact the very worst suit within the entirety of the DLC for Marvel's Spider-Man. So starting off with number 5 on the list, which is the least worst suit within Spider-Man PS4, is indeed the Scarlet Spider Mark II suit, also known as the Kane suit. Now I know this might be a shocker to all you even seeing this suit on this list, but for me, I am much more of a fan of the classic Scarlet Spider costume than I am of the newest one with Kane being featured as the main protagonist who mainly wears this outfit. In my personal opinion, I'm already turned off for this suit since we've already seen it in a plethora of other Spider-Man games, but the main reason why I don't like the suit too much is because of the overflowing amounts of red within the costume. And while I do like that Insomniac added a bit more of depth to the overall textures of the suit with adding some red lines within the black aspects of the costume, I'm still not too big of a fan of the simple pattern of black and red along with the lesser textures on the main red aspects of this suit. Granted, there are some finite details that you can find within the main torso of this costume, but still for me personally, I'm not too big of a fan of this costume, but still this easily is not the worst suit out of the entirety of the bunch. Now moving on to number 4 on the list is actually a costume I was enjoying to wear at first, but the more I played around with it, the more I actually came to see a bit more flaws within the overall entirety of this suit. And yes, I am in fact talking about the Dr. Aaron Eichmann armor that comes within the Silver Lining DLC of Spidey Suits. Now at first, First, I was a fan of this armored suit since I did think it had more distinct features than the other armored Spider-Man costumes that are in the game already, but the more I look at it, the more I see some features that I'm not really too appealed with. The main issue I have with this suit is that sometimes the huge cartoonish looking iron boots sometimes clip through Spider-Man's legs when he's doing his classic spider pose, and the neck shape of Spider-Man in general with this armor on looks a bit too small. But besides looking like the equivalent of a Spider-Man based Power Ranger, I do think that the biggest problem problem I have with this costume is that there is no logo on the back of the suit. And yes, I am aware that in the comics, the Aaron Eichmann armor also does not have any logos on the back of his costume, but still, I would think if Insomniac had added a bit of touches to the other suits within the game, I would have thought that they would also have added a huge logo to the back of this costume as well. So besides the armor itself looking a bit clunky in some places, I also think Insomniac could have added their own personal touch to the costume to make it look even better than how it does in the comics. And yes, I am aware that Insomniac did say that they wanted to make sure each suit was represented to one-to-one -one detail, just like how they are in the comics, but still, I've always had that issue with the Aaron Eichmann armor in general, that there is, in fact, no logo on the back of this suit, and that is easily why it is number four on this list. But moving right along to the number three spot goes to, yet again, another costume which I actually liked at first, but the more I actually wore it, the more I came to be a bit disinterested within the overall suit itself. And if you don't know which one I'm talking about, I'm actually discussing Brian Intar's favorite 
favorite suit within the DLC for Spider-Man PS4 is in fact the Mongaverse Spider-Man suit, also known as Spider-Clan. So when I saw this suit revealed back in November, I was actually really interested within it at first because it has much more of a distinctive look to it given its art style and its anime looking vibe. Not to mention that the out of this world cartoon head shape for the suit itself is obviously how it looks in the comics, but it also looks extremely similar to that of the Spectacular Spider-Man show. So even though this suit does have some interesting features tailored to it, I still think the main issue I have with it is mainly regarding the backpack as well as the eyes when they are animating in certain cutscenes. If you do look at the comics, the Mongaverse Spider-Man is known to always have some really huge boxing gloves, really over the top shoes, as well as a really cool backpack tailored to him. And even though Insomniac did keep the makeshift boxing gloves as well as the extremely large shoes, I do find it a bit upsetting that the backpack is strapless on this costume as a whole. And yes, I am indeed aware that the strapless backpack was in fact a design choice from Insomniac's art director Jacinda Chu herself, but still, given how he looks like in the comics with a strapped backpack, I would have preferred that more. And in all honesty, I do think that the Mongaverse Spider-Man suit from Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions all the way back in 2010 actually looks better than how the suit does in Spider-Man PS4. So even though this outfit might be one of the most unique costumes within the entirety of Spider-Man PS4, I still don't like some of the design choices that Insomniac did with the suit overall. And moving on from this animated Spider-Man suit, we are now looking back at the more realistic costumes that are within the game, and it's actually relating to the custom suit that Insomniac added within the heist DLC of the resilient suit made by famous Marvel artist Gabriel Del Otto. Now, when I first laid my eyes upon this costume, I wasn't quite sure what to think of it since it was going to be one of the first DLC suits that Insomniac was going to implement within the City That Never Sleeps pack. And while I do appreciate Insomniac teaming up with Marvel artists to make their own unique Spider-Man suit designs, I do think this one is a bit all over the place. Everything from this suit's extremely toned down color palette, as well as the overflowing implementations of light blue coloring in the suit, as well as the odd spider logo and the extremely squinty eyes are really hard to look at with this suit overall. Not to mention that this suit seems to be a hybrid of fabric and armor, so whenever you are in cutscenes wearing this suit, Spider-Man's mouth will not move during cutscenes. So given the texturing that Insomniac was going for this suit in general, it's really hard to make out if it is just a really dense fabric suit or in fact another type of spider armor. And even though I do appreciate Insomniac trying to put in their own unique Spidey designs within the game like the Velocity suit and the Resilient suit, I'm still not quite a fan of how it looks overall. But still, none of the suits that I previously mentioned can even compare to what is indeed the very worst DLC suit within the entirety of Spider-Man PS4, which is indeed the Spider UK suit. And I'm gonna be brutally blunt with all of you guys, I genuinely hate this suit with a burning passion. If you thought I hated the undies suit before, nothing can measure how much I disapprove of this costume being within the game. Not only do I think that this is absolutely a waste of a suit slot, I also think that the overall design of this costume is flat out horrendous. The overabundant amounts of blue within this costume are really distasteful to me, and the fact that this costume doesn't even have a spider logo on the front of the suit is really, really irritating to me. Granted, I am aware that that is exactly how the suit looks within the Marvel comics, but still, I was never a fan of it in the comics in the first place, and seeing it in Spider-Man PS4 is actually really disappointing to me. And besides the Spider UK suit's patterning and textures looking extremely simple, I do think this is the most plain outfit that we have in the entirety of the game, even more so than the classic suit within the game as well. So apologies to all of you British Spider-Man fans out there, but for me personally, this is without a doubt the worst DLC suit within the entirety of Spider-Man PS4. And with all that said, everyone, that is my personal list of the top 5 worst DLC suits within Spider-Man PS4, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Do you agree with my top 5 worst DLC suit picks, or is there something that you would personally change? I will admit it was a bit hard trying to create this list since I do like the majority of the DLC suits within Spider-Man PS4, but still, without a doubt, the UK is absolutely the worst one within the game, and the other ones I think could have been designed a bit better. And if there's any chance that we could possibly receive new DLC suits within next year of 2019, I really hope that they can up their game in terms of their design, just like how they were within the best suits of the DLC had to offer. But until next time, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check out my previous top five list for Spider-Man PS4. And until next time, true believers, stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out. Hmm. Looks uncomfortable. It gets kind of itchy. It rides up in the crotch a little bit, too.